doing a winterizing video today on a flatbed version, the Hawk flatbed, Fleet flatbed, or Granby. They're all the same. New, this is a new Granby in our showroom, but it's different than the slide in. We'll do a separate video for that one. First thing to do to winterize your camper is open up your drain valve. Peck, some people call it a pet cock, but a drain valve here. You would open that up and the water, if there's, this tank is empty, but you would let all the water run out, which is kind of a slow process. It's 20 gallons coming out of a, a small little tube. So open that up, let that start draining, and then move on to other things while that's doing it. So imagine that's draining. Since we're outside anyway, I'll hook up our shower hose here and turn it to the middle. So you can go all the way left, all the way right, but right in the middle. So it's pulling both hot and cold water. So both valves are open. And I'll hang this down from the side of the truck and turn it on. So it's, instead of being off, it's, it's open right now. You can see the water starting to drip. Normally when you're winterizing it, it's probably gonna be on your truck. If it's not on your truck, it's no big deal. As long as this, this hose is below the camper, gravity will let the water out. So this is open, not all hot, not all cold, right in between. The shower wand is clipped open. If you don't have a shower head like this, you can untwist the shower head itself and just leave this open on the ground. The water will just drain out. So this is allowing the, the water system to drain out. It opens the air lock so air can get into the system to allow water to gravity feed out. Your tank drain up here will be draining at the same time. Once this one stops draining, we'll hop inside the camper and I'll show you a few more steps. We drained the water tank, the 20 gallon freshwater tank outside, let all that water went out, connected the outside shower. We're gonna open the sink faucet. What that's gonna do is we hot, cold, same thing as the outside shower. You kinda of want it in the middle. So you have both hot and cold open. That allows the air lock, opens the valve so the air and water can gravity feed out of there. We'll usually flip the water pump switch on and make sure that the water is out of the system and it's not pumping any water out of the shower or the sink faucet. We leave the, all the valves open still. We'll hop inside here. It gets a little trickier in here. It's actually pretty easy, but there's many different water lines in here. So in the back area here, you have two water manifolds on this particular camper, one on this side and one straight back. And what that's doing is feeding different things inside the camper, your sink, your outside shower, your hot water and your cold water. So you wanna make sure these valves here are open. They're straight up and down. So righty tighty is closed. If it's, if it's at an angle, that's closed. You want them in line. So if I turn that to the right, it's closing that valve. You basically want this valve open, this valve open. These are your water manifolds. This is the back of your water filler. I'll show you how to blow that out last. And then down here, we have the hot water heater. And there's one valve down there, little blue valve at the bottom. And right now it is closed. If I can throw my phone in here, this valve is to the right. So it's twisted to the right, it's closed. What you're gonna to wanna to do is twist this valve here. So now it's in line. What that will do is it'll allow the water from the hot water heater, when it's quiet, you'll hear it. It'll start to gurgle and the water will drain out of the hot water heater into the fresh water tank. And because the valve on the outside is open, it'll start to drain outside of the camper. So that can take a few minutes. So you want your outside shower valves open, inside sink valve open, upper manifold lines open, the bottom valve open, and that'll drain all of the water out of the system. From there, 
we usually will take this little bowl off, this glass bowl slash filter. There'll be water in there and drain that out. You can leave that off in the winter time if you want. Not a bad idea. It allows the more air in the system allows any trapped water to expand without cracking lines. So the more faucets you leave open, the more valves you leave open. If there's water trapped in there, excess water, and it freezes, it can move up and down the line instead of being air trapped in there and expanding out and cracking a fitting. From the outside, the last step would be to blow the manifolds out with compressed air. And we'll show you how to do that next. So we're on the final step. We've drained the water tank. We've drained the hot water tank. We have all of our valves open. Our outside shower is open. Our sink faucet's open. We'll go to the outside filler. Open this little door here. Not necessary, but open the cap. This is fresh water filler. This is your city water connection. This goes directly to those water manifolds that are on the inside. This is what they call a blowout valve. It's just a little piece of plastic. Allows you to hook an air tool to it. You can do it probably with a bike pump, I suppose, or a gas station. Just spin this on the city water connection. It doesn't have to be real tight, but once, once it's on there, it doesn't move. And then we take compressed air. We have a little air, just air line from our compressors here. Air tool, like bike tool. Same thing you'd fill your bike tires with. And we're sticking it on the end of here just to push air. You might or might not be able to hear it from here, but on the inside, I can hear the water and the air moving around from the compressed air. So we usually do that five or 10 times. Not super high pressure, not really long amounts of time. This is just blowing air through the line that'll push out any extra water that's in the water manifolds, which are right on the other side of this wall. So we typically try and leave everything open in the winter. If you're storing it in freezing conditions, leave the valves open, faucets open. That way, if there's water trapped in there and it's, it freezes, it can expand. It won't crack um, when you're ready to bring it back to life for springtime trips. Close your valves, close your sink faucet, close your shower faucet. Close your low water tank drain, which is the, at the bottom of the hot water heater. Make sure all the valves are open and hook this kind of stuff. Fill your water tank. Uh, if this is still open, you'll see water drip out. Just, just close it. Unhook your water valve here. Take that off. Close that door and run your water pump. Prime the system and you're ready to go.